Hi, I'm Mac Pab, and today I'm gonna be showing everyone my collection. Um, there will probably be more than one part just cause, so I'll link it in the description of my videos, like part one, part two, part three, however many there are. I hope there's not that many, but yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm going to be showing my collection cause I've been like cleaning them up, working on them. Um, and yeah, I just want to show them what I have. Uh, I want to say that my displays will stay like this forever, but as I accumulate more things, probably not. But as of right now, the last day of January 2024, I want to show it so that I can, you know, look back on my dolls. But for like a little bit about me, um, so y'all know. <laughs> I have probably been, I don't actually know how long I've been collecting, like, just everything, but I started my Instagram in 2020, I believe, so, prob and I collected before then, so probably, like, four years now, but I've had and been collecting Ever After High, Monster High, and, like, three Wings Club dolls from like 2015 and not the extreme that I am now I just liked Ever After High uh specifically so if that helps but probably not so I'm gonna say most of these were accumulated over the past four or five years maybe which is pretty good but also I thrift a lot and a lot of it's just Barbies but yeah let's begin no particular order just starting here I have my rainbow high dolls I keep panning over um I don't have too many of rainbow high dolls just because I have mainly like the first lineup um and then a few other ones that I've gotten um so yeah I think they're really nice I just they're never go on sale anyways we have them in a slight rainbow order like ruby I feel bad because like some of them are covered up I do have two poppies I thrifted one um ruby was my first rainbow high doll that I ever got I got her for valentine's day um and then we have the other one she's my first shadow high doll I never liked the outfit that she was in I think they only come with one maybe they come with two I didn't like one of the outfits that she came in it really bothered me I love her in this. I thrifted her in this. I think she looks so great. I do have more Shadow High dolls, um, but they're not unboxed. So eventually they'll be on this shelf. But look at Kaya Hart and Jet. And I think Emmy was my most recent doll that I got. But I have thrifted her, this one, that poppy. And I think that's it for thrifting. Um, but I'm really excited and I'm growing my collection because I definitely didn't have this many. Um, and I do try to get most of my dolls on sale. So yeah. Then we have below, we have my AliExpress dolls. I keep them, they're all leaning. Do you see that? Um, I don't know why there's stands here. That's why, because I keep just piling stuff in shelves. I just move them up to the Rainbow High shelf. Um, I like buying stuff from AliExpress. I think it's nice to have, be able to have like a cheaper alternative. Um, and there's some really nice dolls. Like I absolutely love these two dolls and this one over here. I want more of the mermaids. We've got the little dolls, which I actually didn't think that I would like their size, but they're probably my favorites. And then here's the like nude ones that I bought cloth clothing on AliExpress. And I think they look really cute. Um, I do actually have one other one that I have the dress for, um, but I, I just haven't gotten her. Oh yes, we'll just do like a little pan over them. I have done videos on my AliExpress dolls, so if there's one that you're interested in, there's probably a video for it. Um, but yeah, and then below them are just dolls, and I'm just gonna quick show them. Ignore the little stickers that are up. Um, but these are dolls that I still have to fix up. So I do have other ones, but until they're fixed up, I don't really consider them a part of my collection. Um, and I keep them here. This is how I organize them. They are currently on two shelves. Um, but then when they're like in the lineup, because I do three dolls that I fix up at a time, I put them in this little, um, shoe caddy thing. But yeah, next. So then I have my holiday Barbies. Ignore the fact that that shelf is dirty. You can tell that I put one doll here. She fell over and everything tumbled. But anyways, so here is this 
shelf. This is my holiday Barbies. I am really grateful that it's growing. Um, this is kind of like a poor shelf to have them on. I used to have them on a bigger shelf and I was like, why do I have three holiday Barbies on a gigantic shelf? And then I've just accumulated more. Um, really excited that my collection continues to grow um, of these because I love them and yes gorgeous you can tell which ones are my favorite because i try to put them in the front i actually really like that one she was originally in the front but the 2004 barbie took over i just did a video where i cleaned this area so yeah okay i also have this shelf i also just did a video on these um where i cleaned it up but if you can tell i like superhero stuff um when all the d i was gonna say dc but like when all the superhero shows and movies were coming out it was my time. I loved that. Um, I love the DC superhero girls. I think they're really fun, but I also really like the Marvel Rising dolls. There are some, these ones are like the budget, which somebody told me they're training dolls, which I think is kind of cool. Um, still think their outfits are kind of lame compared to the other ones, but sorry, I'm not focusing on the camera. Um, I really like these dolls is what I was saying. Um, and I kind of wish, no, I was gonna say I wish that they would bring back the ones where they try to like break out of like the girl pink stereotype but because I like like this era um and I like those kind of dolls but I also really like the pink vibe anyways sidetracked also have her in here because I don't or else display her like she just she's with the superheroes now and then it also showed the brats ones but we'll just show them because yeah i don't have very many of them i'm glad that they're making more reproduction of the dolls but i mean i've yet to get most of them um oh, she's falling over see this is why like i don't have a lot of stands and i used to make stands and then i was like mm, do i need to and I, yes i do because they fall over but she's on a homemade stand and she's falling over so maybe that's the issue but yeah, um, missing shoes because I got two that don't have shoes. Um, and then some reroutes. And she's falling over my goodness. Okay, I fixed them. I remember why she was on a stand because her, like, you can you see that? Like, she doesn't, it's, I don't know, her legs are broken. Um, <laughs> so yeah, um, here they are. Very few of them. I do have a few, um, others i know i have the newest one that i got um but i can't remember her name felicia oh my goodness um that's yet to be unboxed but eventually i will slowly accumulate more brats because i'm really excited for the four new ones that are coming out or are out um so i want them on this shelf um but i also need some of the other reproductions that I just haven't gotten um and then above that is my shopkins i don't see a lot of people collecting them but i think they're so cute i originally only wanted them because i wanted like the little these ones are from the newest the real littles my goodness they're real brands um and i was like Ugh, i just want little boxes and then i just fell in love with their little looks um so i've quite a few i've made like these little shells out of easter eggs um they're just little displays and look how cute they are um so anytime i find them for a good price i'll probably end up picking them up um and then i have the little shopping bags i don't remember what these are from the little i love these ones i think they're so cute you can't even really see there we go i love her but i still really like these why is there this in your hair i'm obsessed with the horse like what is this i need more um i think the backpacks are cute but i, I keep getting them like i have so many of these i don't need any more those two um i just want the little characters now but i promise i will probably see these and be like i need more um but yeah i think these are so cute and i every time i find like some random that's an eraser that's a snap bracelet nope that's a snap bracelet um i just fall in love with these they're so cute they're such cute things like look at the little calculator um so yeah I love my Shopkins. Um, I think they're so cute. Um, yeah, they always are on my top shelf, which is nice because the top shelf rarely fits like dolls. Like I think maybe brats can fit on it, but like no height difference. Um, so it's nice to have like smaller things that are able to fit on the top shelves. But yeah, that is my Shopkins. This is my MGA shelf that I have. Um, I label it MGA because 
it's all like MJ products that I just don't have too many of the dolls so we'll kind of go through so I have my moxie girls here I still really want more of these um some of the newer ones like the not newer ones yeah more recent because it's, it's lines that are over um <laughs> are really cute I feel like a lot of people liked the older lines but I think some of the newer lines are kind of cute too um this one's actually one without the feet gimmick do you see that she's got actual feet instead of feet that pop off I really like them you can't really see them too much because we're not at the right angle um but I really like them I think they're cute I also have been putting these little McDonald's Barbie toys so if you see them there that's their there they're just randomly placed because I don't really have a display for them then I have um the reason like why I have a whole MGA shelf because like they have a slight display of their own but then these are just ones that don't fit there um which I need to give them their own display but we don't got space for that um is because I have a lot of dolls that I have like a singular one of um like this one is from the I never remember it's called friends forever no MGA has like two lines that kind of sound the same but just aren't um, and I can't remember what they're called, but I got this doll and I missed out on the other one and then I went back and it was gone. So kind of regret that, but still really like this doll. I think she's absolutely gorgeous. I made two brides. Oh, I'm so sorry. Also, she's not MGA. Why is she here? I don't know. I got two. Sorry about that, Moxie. <laughs> Bradzilla is back there. Neither of them are wearing their clothes, but that's okay. She's wearing, um, that's mermaid high pant shorts and then the rest is rainbow high I believe I think she looks so cute I also love her look um her hair was not the greatest hair quality so that's why it's styled like this but I think she's so cute um and then she's wearing I think they're both brats clothing and then the one that I just threw on the ground is my Nobi star she doesn't have any clothes on but I think with her glittery body it's fine um my first one that I got I do have two more one with her outfit and then the other one not with her outfit and missing her arms but I don't care because I think that they're both really cute and I love their faces like I think that's the best thing about them because they're not always the greatest quality but I think their faces are cute some of their outfits are cute their faces are what I love and then we have my little McDonald's toy that I think it's Mattel right and then lol dolls a lot of them i get thrifted so they're nude but i got some with clothing those two are nude back there they're the teens these are the only teens that i have they don't fit on the other shelf that i have and like i said i need to give them their own shelf um i always feel bad because like i can't see their faces but i usually just push them out of the way if i want to see them more you can tell who's my favorite though because like she's not blocked um <laughs> <laughs> neither is she she's front and center um so yeah those are my mga dolls um next we have random dolls that i don't want to give their own shelf because i only have a few of them um so i put them together and there's not really a reason that they're placed together um i originally used to do like my more like childlike dolls like I would consider boxy girls more childlike um and then my non childlike dolls but I think that it's just become random and it's like whoever whichever shelf has space gets it um also I don't know why this is here but it is um so that's okay so I have my two avastars they're the same exact doll by the way um they just come with two outfits and actually it's a mystery outfit I think you're guaranteed whatever she's in um and then you get a mystery one and I bought it because I really wanted this outfit and I didn't get it and I didn't know it was mystery I was like why are they advertising it then and I got a second one um because it was on sale and I was like I can just put her in the second outfit and I got this outfit and I loved it um the stickers do peel off if you're wondering if you're thinking about getting them like her belt is not staying on um or her little eye stickers here but I still love these dolls and I want more of them um so badly next I have my live dolls so this one's a brand new one um I kind of don't like that she's in back but they're like on their legs so that's why she's in back um I don't know what one that is um if that's her outfit but that's what she came in and then this one is not her outfit obviously but I this one is a live doll outfit I think and I have another live doll I think she's nude um she needs to be fixed up and if you're wondering I think I just threw it all on the ground I oh it's this one I was gonna say this does not look like it this is a creative world wig if you're wondering um no it doesn't fit 
properly. That's why there's a headband there. Um, so, you know, if your doll doesn't have a wig and you want to put a wig on them, you can make other <laughs> wigs work. Um, it's not the greatest, but I think it's cute nonetheless. Um, I got her a wig, but it was cut. So, yeah. And then the thing that I just dropped was a little Liv McDonald's toy. And I actually used to have them growing up. Um, like a few of them and I actually used to play with them with my dolls and I gave them up so kind of sad about that um next I have the glitter girls sparkle girls are they sparkle girls yes every time I always get them mixed up um and I, they're just so different like they're the same like brand but their faces are all so different like okay look at this one up here and then this one back here I love these these two faces but look how different this one looks can you see that and that one's falling over see this is why i have messed up displays this one in the back the redhead i guess she kind of doesn't look like she's a redhead here but this one i love her she's my favorite this is my second favorite um but then i really like the series with the wings this one was supposed to have wings but they didn't she i think hers were like ripped or something so i just made my own and then this one is really cute and every time i find them thrifting um for a good price sorry i'm trying to put them back up i uh i do attempt to get them um but i just think they're so cute and they kind of smushed on my display but that's okay then i have flavors none of them have their outfits but that's okay um she's wearing a fashion pack and there's hair in the shot um nonetheless I really like them I really want to get them in box because I like them for their outfits but I do really like their faces and to have them on display is super nice so gorgeous she's my favorite by the way if you cannot tell and then I have my four boxies I'm pretty particular on the which ones I like because some of them just have really weird outfits and I don't like that um shoes I'm fine without I have this one without shoes but in particular on which ones I get so yeah here they are I do have another one that I am going to eventually unbox um but uh yeah here they are I really like them and then moving down this is my display for sorry we gotta go down okay I was trying to figure out like what I want to call this display here's like a back view almost kind of can see all of them um I don't know what to call them, but I'm going to call them, like, knockoffs. I know that they're not, but, like, this one clearly is, and that one, they're the... What are you... What is your brand? I can never remember. Is it Cindy? Sorry, I'm looking on her head. No, it's Simba. It's Stuffy Love. That's what it is. Um, and, like, some of these are, but, like, other ones I just think are just dolls. Um... <laughs> this is like my knockoff shelf um and sometimes they're super interesting like I absolutely love this doll if anyone knows who this uh, doll is she the back of her head says UD toy company which I have one of the dolls that is from that brand so I know that they typically make knockoff dolls but I just want to find where I can find more of her she's absolutely gorgeous I can never find anything about that doll online. I just want more of them. I want to know what they're called to so find more. But some of them have weird faces, like <laughs> those two. But sometimes I find them, like I found these ones. Um, they're like ones that you can like dress. I think you're supposed to like make their own outfits. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I really like their faces. I bought three of the same exact doll and I gave them different outfits. These ones are actually Target dolls um, and they're clearly supposed to be Bratz knockoffs. They're so cheap, but I love them. Um, this is a Novi Star knockoff. I got the packaging and like, yeah, it's weird. Um, and then these ones, like they're their own company. I think some of them are Kid Core. You guys might be Kid Core. I can't remember the others. Um, a lot of the bigger ones are the brand of Kid Core, which makes probably knockoff dolls. I don't know too much about their company, but I just think some of them have such fun faces. And then these ones remind me so much of the, um, what is it? The Wii 3 dolls, maybe? Is that what it is? The Wii 3 um, Stacy friends, those ones. 
they just look so cute their outfits are made <laughs> most of them are because i don't have a lot of like this type of size doll clothing stuff and i didn't want to give some of the weirder ones their own clothing so a lot of it's made out of omg garment bags um and then this one is sold I don't remember what company it is, but I don't think that I would consider it a knockoff. Um, but this one's the Five Below doll and I think she's actually really pretty. So she did make it here though. There's also, if anyone is wondering, there's a third one in this line. They're called like Sassy Tiffany, Sassy something. Um, one of them's Tiffany, I don't remember, Holly maybe? maybe and then there's a third one and i really want the third one um their hair is also <laughs> sticking up i got them at a thrift store or not a thrift store a garage sale for like 25 cents and i still really like them um and then here's my fashionista collection we'll kind of back up a little bit um so you can see it i feel like you can't see it the greatest but that's okay um i'll try to go individual i know people are not the biggest fans of fashionistas but i absolutely love them um they're just diversity and just I don't know the variety and the fact that they're cheap is super nice most of the ones that I have are Kirby Barbies um I'm gonna back up that's a lot of noise um most of them that I have are Kirby Barbies because those are the ones that like I absolutely love and usually go on sale um for even cheaper than ten dollars but let's take a look at the ones that I have can't see a lot of the ones in the back which is kind of disappointing and why I like some of the other shelves that I have later on you can't see now um because you know as you're seeing my display a lot of them are hidden but that's okay because eventually the reason why my displays get messed up is i'm like oh, i can't remember what that one looks like and then i like reach back and grab her um but yeah like the tall barbies they can't go in the back because i just i don't know it just doesn't look good so a lot of the, like my favorite ones are in the back but up front i used to never have dolls displayed sitting because i didn't like it because you can see like up into them but i've gotten used to it um got her a five below love this doll i actually have a few more dolls coming for this little section because i got some more at five below which is always super exciting she's not in her outfit um she has a yellow dress it's one of my other dolls is wearing it sorry for her um then i have this i absolutely love her um Look at them, some of the newer ones. I really like a lot of the older ones, um, like first times. Like this one is amazing. I love this doll so much. Also really like this one, a bit newer. Um, I have this one, you can't see it, but she's got the pink, right? Oh, her leg is purple, sorry, purple prosthetic. Um, love them so much. This one is super exciting to get. I actually got her on Facebook market page. Wasn't expensive at all. Um, but she's like the first curvy Barbie, I think. I remember seeing that and I was super excited. I think she's the first curvy Barbie, but I could be wrong with that. Love her so much. I love her outfit. Um, you can see he's not wearing his outfit. I do have it, but I just like the fashion pack a lot more. Um, can't always see all my dolls, but that's okay. It's okay have a whole bunch and i'm super excited for them and then the last in this little shelf area are my hair adorables um and hair amazing dolls so i have the little ones up front look how cute i actually got them thrifting um at once upon a child i got all i think all of them except two uh were in a pack and it was like for like $12 or something and I was like that's an amazing deal and I think they're in their outfit most of them are wearing their outfits I think they look so cute I fixed them up they're so fun some of them are falling over because I just put them on this plastic and then glued like stuff to them to try to hold them in place so they don't always stay up every once in a while I'll try to fix it um, but you can tell who my favorites are again because they're front and center um and the ones that I had to part with and put in the back because look, I love this hair. Some of the hair is like amazing and then some of it is not, but that's okay. And then you can tell that I also like the older ones. Um, I want more of the hair amazing line, but you know, eventually we'll get them. Um, so I have the this line because I think it's on sale when I got it and then I thrifted this doll she's not the greatest of condition but she's okay um and then I got this one thrifting as well 
and then I found her somewhere. She's not in her outfit, but she's one of the ones that are cheaper now, so she's not a part of these ones lineups. Um, but I still really like these dolls, and yeah, I really like these little ones. I always said that I would never collect like littler size dolls or that I didn't like them but I think I was just falling into like what other collectors say and I absolutely love some of these little dolls I think they're gorgeous this one I love her hair by the way it's so soft sorry we're not even seeing this one love her hair so soft anyways moving on I have very few Equestria girl dolls um or ones like this one's not wearing her outfit but I do have two of these ones these ones were the ones that i really liked I, I know i feel like most people didn't like these ones but i really liked them um i was like i'm never gonna get the other ones and as you can see i have three um so these two i got thrifting the this one and twilight i can never remember her name because i always call her starfire which is a superhero not an equestrian girl um and it's like stuck in my head anyways this one is her hair's cut and i gave her just random outfit um but i love her hair i think it's cut i don't think that's what she has um and then there's some like stuffed animals like we got a little spike behind them um and some just random stuff uh my pink barbie case the styling heads i have two the, the pinkie pie and then the flutter shy which is back there and then i have these little things oh, they're always falling off. how rude of them um oops i really like these ones the little mcdonald's equestria girls i want the rest of them i have three pinkie pies flutter shy twilight over there i want this collection i need the other two i need who am i missing rainbow dash and who am i missing pinkie pie nope I'm literally staring at them. Why can I not figure it out? Rarity. Oh my god. <laughs> Why can I not figure that out? I want this. I love their look. I think they're so cute here. Um, and then some of these are from my childhood. Like this one I think is my childhood. They always fall over. Um, and I just, anytime I can find cute ones, like I really like this collection, but I don't like their hair. These ones, I want the rest. If they made any others than just the six characters, I need them because I love them. Um, then we have my Ever After High collection, which most of them are my childhood collection. Um, so they're not in the greatest condition, which honestly is really devastating. Um, I actually try not to touch these dolls because every time like I realize that they're like slowly deteriorating, I get really sad. Um, like when I was putting Briar on display, um, in like a set display because I used to keep them in my room um I move them down here because I'm actively down here more um and I just don't touch the ones that are in my room but anyways put her on display her neck is like chipping and breaking and eventually gonna fall off I do have a few dolls that has have fallen off and I just glued them on but like that's really sad because she was my childhood doll I usually keep my dolls pretty like clean like I don't mess with them too much so that was really sad and like a lot of them have really bad glue seepage and I'm like no um because like I can fix it but like just my childhood dolls also I love ginger um her hair is a weird texture compared to the others but I love ginger um but yeah so I have quite a few of them uh that are my childhood Let's see. So I thrifted this one, which is exciting because look at her. I think she's, is she Legacy Day? What is she? I don't remember. I think Legacy Day. Anyways, gorgeous doll. Uh, my childhood dolls. She's uh, thrifted, which was really good because I almost didn't pick her up because I was like, I wanted a different doll, but she was literally only $5. But anyways. Um, and then I think everyone here, excluding Holly, um, back there, cause she's a budget line, is thrifted, cause they're not wearing their outfits. Um, and I did find a cedar head, yes I did. Um, but yes, I love these dolls. I don't have, like, most of them as, like, sets. Like, I have Maddie and Ashlyn from Mirror Beach. I really need the apple like I don't have a lot of the complete ones because I was when I was collecting I was just getting each character so you can really see that here it wasn't until I started like actually collecting versus like I was using them to play that I 
started getting more of one each character which apple's honestly my favorite doll like i think her dolls are so good um but i want others and i did just get a cerise hood her original look and hunter huntsman which you haven't seen at that thrift haul i was so excited um but yeah really excited i think my like line that i have the most dolls of is uh way to wonderland which i think is such a good line i have three dolls of that line which might not seem like a lot but the fact that these are my childhood dolls is super super nice um yeah next we have this and you can already see i literally just set up the display like three days ago and they fall over but that's okay it's really just i just need stands and i need to just go and buy them when i originally started collecting i started like you know, I'd watch all these videos and people would have so many dolls that I would want that. Um, and I've kind of come to the conclusion that there are certain dolls that I just cannot thrift without their stuff and pieces. Kind of like Flava's, like the Fla two Flava's dolls that I have. They'll never be like Flava's dolls because they don't have their outfits and that's what I like them for. Now, I like their faces so they are on display. But like, my I have this Evie and that Mal down there, which is the same exact one as this. Like, I don't like them. Like, I'll probably end up donating them because I just don't like them. And I think it's just because they're thrifted. But I absolutely love those, too. Like, they don't have their clothing, I guess. Um, I love these, two. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. Same doll as the other one. Didn't never Have never liked them. But this one doesn't have her clothing, and I really like this Descendants doll. I don't know. My brain works weirdly. Um... So I have to like, I don't know, I start to kind of notice that because like it was like, oh, I don't have any Descendants dolls and I need to start doing that where it's like, do they have enough to where I'll like them? Do I have an outfit for them? I don't know. I don't know. Just thoughts for myself. I have my Winx dolls. Um, these were ones that I got from my childhood, not childhood, but like when I was collecting as a kid and like playing with them. Um, so they're back there because they're not with the other ones that I have. These ones, I want the other two. They're the art squad, right? That's what they're called. I always call them art class. <sighs> art squad. Um, the stickers for their eyebrows, as cool as they are, they don't work. Just in case you're wondering, I love these dolls. I need the other two. I feel like there was like a huge craze when they came out because they were promoting them and having YouTubers promote them. And I just never hear anyone talk about them. I think they're amazing. I love them so much. Gorgeous. Um, I can never remember what this is called. Cutie something. Cutie Pop maybe. Uh, I didn't like her for a while. But I've kind of started growing on me. And I need to stop doing that. Because I already have too many collections that I like. Absolutely love this doll. I didn't. I don't know. Like I didn't love them. But then I, I got her. Because I was like this is the best one on the line. I want one of them. And now it's like I need the others, so <laughs> not great. Um, I have two JoJo dolls back there, and again, I just don't love them, so I think I'm just gonna buy one of box. That's the thing is, like, I always feel like I need to stop looking at dolls because, um, like, I'm like, I don't need to start a new collection. There are some dolls, I'm pretty happy about this, that I just don't need all of them up. Like, I want one in my collection. I have those two JoJo's. I love the one's hair. You can't see or see. I don't like them, so I put them back there. I just don't like them because they're, like, I don't have good outfits for them, but there are some that I like their outfits. Anyways, like, that I can have one of. Like, this doll, I found her thrifting, and I was like, I don't need to collect it. And then I was like, she's kind of cute, and I don't have a desire to have more. I really like this one, which is, like, you know, like, I'm happy that she's here. But I don't have a desire to have more. But she's so cute. This is, the, I think that's the Fancy Nancy dolls. Look how cute she is. She's definitely more of a child one. Which is, like, this, you can tell, was my original, like, more younger demographic shelf. But has kind of changed because I have Project MC Squared in here. Um, and my Winx dolls. Because I wouldn't consider them younger demographic. Um, Project MC Squared have her. I was super excited to get this line. Every time I talk about this doll, I always mention. I used to watch the show and I had no clue that they were, that there were dolls. Um, which would have changed my life because I loved that show so much. Um, now I have one doll. I just thrifted another one. Like, I found her and I was so excited. Like, in this place, I was like, I need to go before they tell me I can't have her. Um, <laughs> and then I actually bought one brand new in box uh, at Ollie's. And I was like, um, what? And I've gone back multiple times to see if they ever come out with more. And they have not. So it was the only one there. Not like there was, like, six boxes of that doll. Like singular box. I have these dolls. 
when I got her, um, I was like, I don't really like her. So I took her outfit off and I made her something. I have a doll who's actually wearing her outfit. Um, I didn't like her. And I think it's because her face is not the same color of her body, but, but I love this one. And I want the other characters. I don't need the horses. I want the horses, but I don't have space for them. So I don't need them. But some of the characters are just really cute. There's actually quite a few in the lineup. Um, and I need to, I loved the movie spirit and I have no clue if it, has anything to do with that movie but I need to watch the show because I really liked the movie spirit and that's why I didn't like these dolls is another like thing on that is I was like like what that's I loved spirit <laughs> I did not like these dolls um but this one's so cute also her hair she's got like a snarl um I really like these dolls if anyone like has them and likes them let me know because I just don't hear people talk about some of these lines gorgeous this one is the Be Kind doll. I I love them. <laughs> I thrifted her. I actually passed up on this is video is gonna be. I passed up um, on one somewhere by accident because I forgot that she was at the place that I went and then I just left her and very sad. I want more. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. And again, I just wish that, you know, more people would be interested because I think the line is really cute. Um, is it the greatest quality? No, but I love this doll. Um, love her so much. And then I have both the bigger cutie crush dolls. This one is not wearing her outfit. I know, but I like her in this a lot better. Um, if I ever find the other one, I'll probably switch her out, but still really like her in this outfit a uh, cutie crush doll love this i really wanted these two and i think i manifested it because i was i found them i was like oh my goodness i didn't like the original like smaller ones because the they didn't have like the colors that the art had because like you would put stuff in their hair and stuff i don't that makes sense you know what the dolls are you understand this one this one is like the art and i love this style so i was like i need i need those too and then i went thrifting and i found them both for good prices never seen them before thrifting found them i manifest it i believe in it so yeah love this style so much the other one is next in line to get thrifted or thrifted fixed up so eventually she'll be here um super excited they're so pretty love these dolls this is my monster high display and this one's kind of debated i might eventually give them less room or something but i really wanted to like have them with their display and these are really the only dolls that fit in it, but I just, my Monster High collection keeps growing. Now, most of these, why is her hair like that? <laughs> this is another one that I tend to not, like, touch as much, just because a lot of these are my childhood dolls. But, um, I say that, but actually most of these I've thrifted. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so let's kind of look at them. Um, I tried to do like a keep everyone that I thrifted on this side and then my childhood ones, but that's not the case for most of these. Actually, I think this side's supposed to be like the characters and then the doubles. Um, but yeah, I have in the back, you can see it. One of the first lines that I got, um, it's the, this lineup. I can never remember, student body council something. It's, there's reference the monster thing. Um, and got slow-mo in it which character they don't make often and then only one that they made and then Scara. like this was a good line to get because it was dolls that i probably didn't have the characters of um and then also laguna and cleo which i didn't have those characters i also ended up getting around the same time this two-pack which i know that a lot of people don't like monica decay is that her name i can never figure out how people say it um but i love her design i think she's absolutely gorgeous um and I feel like people don't like her because, you know, she took the spot of Gulia, but look at this doll. She's gorgeous. I love this doll. Um, and then it came with Draculaura. My first ever Monster High doll is not over here. She's over that way. It was the Frankie Fusion. Frankie? Freaky Fusion? That was called. Um, the one where she didn't actually switch places, but it's like her dressing up. That was my first one ever. Um, love that doll got her you can tell if a doll in my display is missing a hand because her hand is behind their back really excited that i got her I actually got her at goodwill bins which if you don't know it's like a dollar per pound um so probably less than a dollar for this doll love her obviously she's missing a hand but that's okay twyla love her actually i have her outfit twice because i got her twice but the other one's hair is cut 
Nefra need an outfit for her, so I just put her in this, whatever this is. Um, Heath and Abby, love them. We have Torlai. I just unboxed this doll. Um, I want more of the Frightmare dolls. Um, and then some more that I have. Venus and then double so I have Claudine actually Claudine's like the most common doll that I find thrifting which is super fun and Venus I always find Venus and Claudine <laughs> funny enough I also found a Claudine Cla Venus is our name the Venus Claudine doll and then I got a Calliope which I absolutely love because they're tall the tall one she doesn't really fit on my display that's why she's like off of it but that's okay and then there's more dolls back there again I'm debating whether or not I'm going to um leave them like in their accessory playset stuff but I don't know I haven't come to a conclusion also side note this is the 13 wishes thing and I absolutely like needed it as a kid I wanted this so badly um only because I had the Melody Piper doll and I used to make rooms for my dolls I loved the YouTuber dolls toys and games gal um, I think they still post sometimes, um, but they used to make, like, rooms for their dolls, and when I was collecting Ever After High, that's what I did, I used to make rooms for my dolls, um, that's why I have a lot of scrapbooking stuff, um, I don't have them anymore, I kind of regret it, but I used to, like, give each of them their own room, well, they would have a roommate, and when I was making melodies, I was like, she would look so good with this, and I really wanted this, and I never got it, but then I eventually I did, so that's exciting, but I really wanted this and I'm so excited that I have it now um and every time I'm thinking like maybe I should put it with Melody so yeah <laughs> okay so out of all the places that I have on display this is the one that always gets so messy um but I love it so much so one thing about like doll collecting I love setting up areas and I try to stuff as many dolls as I can and I like to have it look crowded you know you can see what they're doing so this is one of the houses that I have it's like the one where you can buy pieces and like stack to make it your own I guess honestly I don't know how much I believe that because you can really only set it up so many like ways like they only give you so many pieces but here it is so I got many different dolls in here some of them my childhood ones like the Wii 3 don't ask where Stacy is it's a tragic story um but I can put my Chelsea's in here we can just have little stories going on, eating dinner, having all my mini foods that I have to have but have no reason to have them here. Love the mini foods. You can see everything's kind of set up. Having even dolls that aren't Barbara's but that stuff you love. Um, and just kind of placing in random dolls. A lot of these are dolls that I end up thrifting. Like this is a Becky. I was like, oh my goodness, this Becky doesn't have her outfit. I do actually have Becky's wheelchair but not her outfit but anyways so it's dolls that i'm like i love this doll's face a lot of times i reroot the dolls um and it's like what do i do with them now i used to actually have a display for my reroots but now i just put them in here um but have a little doll with a pixie cut i gave her a rerouted pixie cut it's out of yarn um and then those two dolls which are also made by mattel don't ask what they're called i can never remember uh my dolls obviously have to have a little bit of a display going on here the little pets that i have some of these are my childhood pets some of them are thrifted because every time i find the little soft ones it's like i must have them um <laughs> and the little dog play so you know i put all these like accessories that i got i got this couch i was like i need to have this couch did i have a reason to buy it no and i just put them in my display they're outside having a campfire i got this a really long time ago at the dollar store i was like this looks so cute it looks like a little campfire hadn't used it like never used it and then i got this house and i was like i'm gonna use it now um having all my skippers that i always get because i think they look so cute in little rainbow high uh outfits that's why i'm sad they don't make a second outfit um but i'm sure rainbow high is like you're using it on barbies no they're skippers um absolutely love these dolls and then I also have my little bathroom set which eventually will get more um so yeah this is a bathing suit Barbie um and perfect because I'm like well I don't want to have a nude Barbie in here she's wearing a bathing suit um gorgeous and then my other display that I ignore the little table and chairs that are up here but is the Barbie hotel you can kind of see it um displaying it really nicely but anyways I got this for my birthday um I went thrifting and I found it and I, I was like I 
I don't know where I'm gonna put this and I was like but it's like five dollars so <laughs> there are cracks in it which I did glue but I'm really excited and happy to have it it is a slightly yellow stain from probably sun damage but that's okay and it's right next to the house and there's always just like you could see through it but I made this and now it's here is it good to have a fireplace next to my alcohol bar no but it's okay um, and just anything that I've accumulated over the years that I thought would look good in a hotel have come to be placed in here. And there's just like little stories telling throughout this um, place. Also my little mini brands that you can buy at the hotel. Um, so cute. So there's just little stories that are hidden throughout here. Um, and I don't know, I just love that about displays that you just have like all these different vibes going on and I love it. It also gives me a place to put things that I've made um, from like other videos or just made throughout my childhood because again I used to make doll rooms, uh, doll ever after high dorm rooms and so I have just a lot of crafts like this used to be Duchess Swan's thing. I just have a lot of crafts throughout here um, that I've made for other dolls that I can continue to have um, on my displays. <sighs> love it and again like what was I gonna do with that but I needed to have it perfect they're playing music there's also ballerinas in it um don't don't ask um but this yeah. one is a forever like small collection I will eventually attempt to accumulate more but we got my Winx fairies I do have four with wings honestly I never thought that I'd get any with wings so I'm excited and happy. These ones, the three I got at, you can, those three, they should be next to each other, but don't ask why they're not. Um, I got them at uh, Ollie's um, because people are like, go to Ollie's, they have them. They were on sale too, which I was so excited. So I got them and then I got this one on AliExpress. I've been really tempted to get more from AliExpress. I need them. I really want the Believix line because that was my absolute favorite. But now I'm coming to like, come to conclusion that Enchantix is the best line um but Believix is why I watched Winx and then eventually I went back and was like maybe I should watch this show and Enchantix is better and then I have my one uh Mattel doll which I do have more Mattel uh Winx dolls but they're not fixed up and they don't have their clothing she's missing most of it but it's okay and then <sighs> randomly other dolls accumulate on here I've yet to have a spot for these, but it's okay. But random dolls accumulate on here. Um, so yeah. Okay, I know what you're thinking. You have more. We're gonna have to do a part two. And I know I'm gonna try to like move along a little bit more quicker when I just like talking about my dolls. Um, so yeah, there will be a part two of this. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm extra thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts if you have any of these dolls. If you think I should change up any of my displays, let me know.